私の下について助力すると言っていたやつが上に行ってどうするバカ者が大佐錬金術師というのは嫌な生き物だな注意今頭の中で人体錬成の理論を必死になって組み立てている自分がいるあの子らが母親を錬成しようとした気持ちが今なら分かる気がする大丈夫ですか大丈夫だいかん雨が降ってきたないいえ雨なんて。Giants and robots controlled by humans. An idea popularized in Japan during the 1950s with Gigantor. Gigantor. Or for the weebs out there, Humanity became obsessed. And how could we not be? A fantasy of controlling giant robots with guns the size of buildings? Tell me that isn't some of the coolest shit ever. Think of things like Gundam, Pacific Rim, Transformers. The point is, big robots equals cool. <laughs> and if you don't think so, you're lying to yourself. And you're definitely a test tube baby, you inhuman freak. Movement shooters, a term that has recently gained lots of traction. The idea that advanced movement mechanics exist alongside the gunplay, being just as important as the shooting itself. <laughs> People are so obsessed with movement that they are trying every possible way to exploit a game's mechanics so they can go fast. Now, let me be clear. Contrary to what I said in my Counter-Strike video, I do love movement shooters. Clearly. Look at the video you're watching right now. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Movement and shooting can be a wonderful combination, making the flow of combat fluid and seamless. It can add a whole new chasm of depth, separating those dirty floor kissers from the airborne chads. So what happens if you take the concepts of mecha and combine them with the concepts of a movement shooter? Well, you get a big, meaty chad of a video game called Titanfall 2. Bang, bang, The ground. Oh, bro, I saw that. He did it. He did the Titanfall. Bang, bang, two legends, one legacy, oh, I like shot. No, I'm getting right now. Oh, man, I'm out of here. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, there's another one. Fuck his ass. Titanfall 2, also known as TF2. Not to be confused with the other TF2, but. Let's be real, neither game is ever getting new content. Titanfall 2 is probably one of the most tragic things I've seen in gaming. And I'm a Halo fan. They should use this game as a way to teach law students what a class A felony is, because EA has committed first degree murder here. Basically, EA decided to release Titanfall 2 a week after Battlefield 1, a game that had massive amounts of buzz around it. This meant that the two games were competing for the same audience. EA essentially had their two beloved children fight to the death. Guess who won the fight? I try not to use the word dead when referring to games, because people have vastly different ideas of what a dead game is. Dude, there's 6,200 people playing this game right now. Damn. I think it's more than Halo Infinite. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's more than Halo Infinite. There is 5,500 people oh, playing. No. There is less people playing Halo Infinite, dude. Oh no. Clearly, there is still a small, dedicated player base keeping this game on life support. However, this game has definitely been left for dead. There is a thing that makes the vanilla multiplayer pretty much unplayable, but we'll talk about that thing later. There is a shocking amount of people who don't know anything about this franchise. There are people who play Apex Legends and have never played Titanfall 2. Stepping on this map is so hard. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always hard. Word? I guess every masterpiece 
has its cheap copy. So guess what? You're gonna sit down and listen to me simp over one of the most underrated games in the history of everything. So, grab your code Kelsky G Fuel, get your popcorn, and prepare for Titanfall, bitch. Are you cleaning the window? I'm not even using anything. He's using your hands. You missed a spot. I guess we can start with what is a Titanfall? You want to know why it's called Titanfall? Here, let me show you. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my. this is literally this is peak. I'm playing peak FPS right now. <laughs> yeah, how's that warmth feel on your back? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> This game is P- Titanfall is a sci-fi military FPS game. It has two main components to its gameplay. The pilot. Ooh, here we go. Stealth kill. Let's go. Let's creep right on up to him. Take this guy out quietly so no one will know. Now all of China knows you're here. And the Titan. Look, I'm a robot too. We are the same now, you and I. You missed a spot though. These two sides and the way their gameplay is masterfully mixed together is what makes this Wait, franchise so good and incredibly unique as well. Oh shit. There really is nothing else like it. No, come here. Let me board you. Come on. There we go. There we go. Use the smoke so I can get his battery out. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. Big damage. Oh, he did not like that. <laughs> I got on him again. Oh, he's blowing nice. up. Oh, here we go! Oh, come on, come on! Come on! Yes, I got him! <laughs> that was sick. You get the power fantasy of being a highly trained, badass super soldier, capable of wiping out armies. The elite of the elite. And then on top of that, they're like, Alright, now here's a big fucking robot armed with some of the coolest weapons and tech Ever. The pilot gameplay side has perfected the formula of momentum. Dude, controlling this game is like putting butter on toast, but it's like perfectly melted so it just spreads majestically. Does that make sense? I don't know. Having some immensely satisfying wall running that makes my brain neurons feel like they just took LSD at a marshmallow rave. One of the best parts of this game's gunplay is that you have near perfect accuracy during all of this mayhem. The game doesn't punish you for being on the move. It encourages it. Yo! Pilot firefights can turn into this tornado dance. Everyone flying around, trying to land that kill shot. Oh my god, what is happening, dude? What is happening? Okay, dude, we're playing like 5D chess right now. As pilots, you have all kinds of gadgets to play with. You have the grapple hook. And then not the grapple hook. Look, the grapple hook is literally perfect. Spider-Man 2? More like Spider-Man who? You see this shit, bro? <laughs> like, what? That's so cool. I mean, they do have the speed boost thing, which can be just as good sometimes. So I wonder if it's gonna be like Octane. Holy shit! We can go so fast. Ugh, I think I got a bug in my mouth. However, some guns are clearly better than others. Oh my god, I got him. This is SMG. I'm using an SMG, by the way. I, I, I'm not even aiming down the sights. The light machine guns are so slow and have that stormtrooper accuracy when firing from the hip. In a game like this, wasting 0.5 seconds to slowly aim down sights means death. SMGs are clearly the meta, but legend says that if you only use SMGs, this happens to you. Stop! But oh, it's been a while since I played this. You can be based and play the shit like it's Quake. First blood. Double kill! <laughs> Love it. Triple kill! Also, the Mozambique is actually good in this game. What? Dude, they got the Mozambique in the primary slot? Ain't no way it's that good. Now, hold up. That can't be right. No idea how I got that guy. <laughs> okay. No, it's- no, this is not real. This is like a mod, right? <laughs> this is a mod, right? Oh my god, it's good! No! 
I think I found my new favorite gun. Honestly, the pilot versus pilot gameplay alone makes this game so smooth. But remember, there is still one more juicy patty in this double stack whopper. Titans, Goliaths of mass destruction. Here is where you get to live out your mecha fantasies. I love the animations of you just getting picked up by the Titans. Although I will say, I thought it was better in Titanfall 1 when you stayed in first person. Felt way more immersive personally, but whatever. I mean, just look at this comparison. I rest my case. This hot metal on metal action is the main thing that separates oh, this series from your standard movement shooter. Playing as the Titans makes you feel like a literal walking tank. Your footsteps crush those below you. Pilots become nothing more than mere insects. <laughs> I just ran up and just squished like, like a bug. <laughs> nice. And fighting other titans is its own beautiful dance of carefully timed dodges and counters. You are rewarded more for strategy and positioning here, rather than your speed and aiming skills. Knowing how and when to engage another titan is key to your success and survivability. There are six playable titans, all with different weapons and abilities. Just to show a few, North Star is the sniper, patiently waiting for that perfect shot. Being able to fly in the air and long shot enemies from a distance. I see him up there, little bitch. I got him. Oh, big shots. Big shots. I'll be honest, I'm kind of cheeks with North Star. Luckily, every once in a while, you get something what I call a uh, I can't aim button. If I miss one more time. All right, that's it. I'm sick of this shit, dude. Everyone, just, like, I can't aim for this piece of crap character. Just die. Did you just flight core me, sad face? Ronin is your classic anime mecha build with a sword and everything. <laughs> While you were busy talking to women, I was studying the blade, honing my craft for this very moment. Oh, you know that ability the pilots have to phase shift into an alternate dimension? Yeah. Ronin can do that too. Nothing personal, kid. Konnichiwa. Oh, it's on the other side. God, again. dude, this guy fucks up close, man. Escape. This guy had no oh, chance. I oh, I love Ronin, dude. Papa Scorch is the master of flames, equipped with a grenade launcher and gas canisters that are ready to combust. Scorch excels in area control, but that don't mean he can't do some damage from afar either. His launcher does not discriminate either. Whether it be Pilot or Titan, everyone getting a piece. I don't know why you're trying to enter Papa Scorch's kitchen right now. Look at that, you got burn. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you're just so good. <laughs> Why am I better at sniping with Scorch than North Star? <laughs> oh my god! What a snipe, dude! And then you have Legion, where his special ability is... Gun. <laughs> Alright! Let's go and hold left mouse button. Now what? <laughs> Galloway, dumb fuck! Last but not least, the best feature of Titans. Teabagging. <laughs> yes, brothers. <laughs> yes. I cannot believe that we have both one of the best movement shooters ever made and one of the best mech shooters ever made neatly packaged into one game. And yet, real human beings wake up, turn on their systems, and play Combat Master. You should be ashamed of yourself. The true beauty though of all of this comes from how these two sides interact with one another. As a pilot, even though you're very vulnerable, you do have Titan killing weapons that are actually very effective. You can also board enemy Titans and take their batteries out, doing pretty good damage to them. And then you can take these batteries board your friend's Titans and then give it to them, granting them health and shields. There you go, buddy. You can thank me later. All right, back to my Titan. <laughs> God, this game is so cool. Even just riding on the back of your homie's Titan is such a vibe. This is so chill. I feel like I should be playing some music. Yo, your Titan got an aux cord, right? The interactions between everything create such a cinematic battlefield. In other FPS trailers, 
They're like, whoa, dude, look how action-packed our game is. All these explosions, holy shit, he just drove into a helicopter. And then the actual gameplay is like, I've been running for 40 minutes. And then you have Titanfall trailers. All of this, what you're seeing right here, this also isn't what the game is like at all. In fact, it's actually better. Come here, have a, have a battery, quick. Bro, there's so many titans right now. Dude, I just caught him mid-air. Yoink. Where's the boy? Come here, come here, come here. Get your ass. Okay, I just got stepped on, dude. <laughs> Look Damn. at the kill feed. <laughs> now, get ready to play your Bart Simpson lo-fi playlist because I'm about to get sad. It's time to talk about that thing I mentioned earlier in the video. I have to address the big, stinky, overweight hacker in the room. Think about everything I've shown you. All of the chaotic, fun gameplay, the masterful game design. Looks fun, right? Oh, what's that? Maybe you want to play it? Too bad. For the past couple years now, Titanfall 2 has had constant problems with hacking and DDoSing. The servers are constantly being shut down by these virgins, making it near impossible to play the vanilla game. We're not finding shit. Yeah. Maybe we should just um, go back to- oh wait, estimated wait time. No, no, it's gone. Oh, no, they got rid of the wait time. I don't know. Oh, starting server? Oh. oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's just a subject for my uh, wow, uh, we got fucking punked. EA and Respawn clearly couldn't care less, since as of today, it's still a problem. It's gotten slightly better over time, but it's still just bad. <laughs> so, the TF2 community decided to stand up and take matters into their own hands. Thus, Northstar was born. A fan-made client for the game that adds a server browser for people to make their own servers. DDoS free. Everything is unlocked too, so you're free to mess around with the game's entire sandbox offering. It also adds new maps and modes completely for free. Actual GigaChat developers, dude. There's a big long story about how exactly the hacks and lack of response killed the franchise, but Robocast did a great job at describing all of the exact details. If you're interested, check them out. Now, I have a confession to make. All these years, I have never played the Titanfall 2 campaign. Whatever you're feeling right now is justified, and I accept every punishment that comes with that sentence. Look, I don't know what demon was on my shoulder telling me not to play it, but I just didn't, all right? I just didn't think it was worth checking out at the time. Boy, I was wrong. I hate myself for not playing this masterpiece sooner. This is hands down one of the best FPS campaigns I have ever played. That is not an understatement. This is up here for me alongside Bioshock. Halo 3, Modern Warfare, you get the point. So, let's talk about it. Protocol 3, protect the pilot. Trust me. BT! Minor spoilers ahead. The story of Titanfall 2 isn't insanely complex. A big bad group is trying to attack a smaller group for all its resources, so they fight. Basic invasion plot. Four people join every day to fight the IMC. People like you. What does IMC even stand for? Insanely massive cop. It's about as basic as needing to save Princess Peach for the 80th time because, let's face it, Bowser is just that side piece. But that's okay. Not every game needs to have a mega mind, deep, and psychological story that gives you an existential crisis. The motivator is there. Kill the bad guy invaders. Hey guys, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, that, that's my robot. His name is BT. Don't you even touch him! What really matters is the passionate bromance with your robot companion. The bonds between man and machine, and how you are brothers until the end. That's not to say that the Titanfall universe is boring. Hell no. The actual extended lore of what connects these two games together is incredibly fascinating and fun to learn. But I bet this video is already going to be way too long, and this isn't a lore deep dive video. So, moving on. I want to briefly mention this game's tone. I love how the story has much more of a gritty, war-torn vibe than its younger brother, Apex Legends, which is noticeably more fun and quirky. Hey buddy, I hear you're the uh, second smartest guy in the Outlands. <laughs> Wink. 
<laughs> There's just something about that military vibe that hits a lot closer to home. Fighting to protect what you love. Also, this intro is not a lie. You really can be this elite badass super soldier warping through bullets to serve cans of whoop ass. But before you get to this, you start the game as basic ass rifleman Jack Cooper, voiced by extremely sexy overlord Matt Mercer. You start off in a gorgeous tutorial area and learn the basics of moving and shooting. Right before you climb inside your titan bro, the simulation ends because it's game time. So you're pulled back out. Easy call. He just left VR. Uh, he needs a minute to uh, uh, VR was so confusing. So many cat girls who sound like guys. You are sent on a mission to the planet Typhon, controlled by the evil mega corporation, IMC, the intergalactic mega cucks. You battle through the front lines, trying to reach your captain, Lastimosa, only to very quickly realize that you are not that guy, pal. This is a little too easy so far. What's that noise? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Oh, hey, 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 calm down, calm down, hey, oh. I was not familiar with your game. Oh, who's that? Oh, is that, uh, is that Captain, uh, Lactimosa? Is <laughs> it Lactimosa? <laughs> my hero, thank you all. Okay, we're gonna get out of this alive. Never mind. Captain Lactose gets skill diffed, and you then have to take on the responsibility of being a pilot and linking with his titan, BT. Congratulations on your promotion. You may call me BT. Short for Based Titan. Here is when your adventure really starts. The campaign takes you on a journey through lush forests, toxic gas fields, construction zones, building homes. The visual variety in this game is pretty impressive, honestly. Oh, a little fun fact, by the way. Did you know this game was made on the Source engine? Yeah, you heard me right. This Source engine. The game makes great use of its mechanics having very fun shootout arenas. Ah, get off my nuts, dude. Why are you so thirsty? Oh my god. That's going pretty well. Oh, no, not the ticks, bro. Stop chasing me. Why are they so fast? No, dude. What well, no! Mixed with parkour sections. How has no game done wall running better than this so far? It's just... How? In some areas, you might even be doing a little bit of both, and it just works so well. Every level either introduces a new gameplay mechanic, or a new Titan loadout for you to play with. BT is the BASED Titan, because he can switch to any Titan class he wants to at any time. Truly the best boy. There are boss fights too, which are hard versions of the six Titan classes. You may even recognize some of the characters if you play Apex Legends. Oh my god, it's Ash from Apex Legends. I know you from the battle pass. She's east, she's pushing up, she's one shot, she's cracked, she's cracked. I'm hit, I'm hit. Cover me. I need shields. She's dog water, so free, so free, probably bronze. Let me get your autograph. I'm just such a big fan. Mm. Not done. What? Oh. You are the Apex Champions. Some of the dialogue can be a bit cheesy. Welcome to stay as long as it takes to kill you, which, by the way, not be long. Especially with this dude, who acts like a Borderlands villain. You were not invited to Kane's party, and that's why you're dead. <laughs> well, well. This middle part, do I look an ass? Now come on, hit me. Okay. are you saying no you asked me to this is easily made up for with all of the bt dialogue missing me already i was not shooting at you that would be in violation of protocol 3 <laughs> <laughs> never mind i absolutely love the dialogue choices even if they don't affect the story directly jack and bt's relationship easily steals the entire show BT! And seeing their trust get stronger over the course of the campaign had me blushing and grinning like a goddamn schoolgirl. It's good to see you, buddy. It is good to see you too, pilot. This is so wholesome, dude. Ah! Lastly, I want to mention that there is a specific level in this game that is easily the most unique and interesting FPS level I have ever played. I don't want to spoil because I truly think you need to fucking play this game, so I'll give one tease. Oh yeah. The campaign alone 
is 100% worth the price of this game. In fact, if I post the video in time, the game should be like $3 on Steam. So go and get it right now. But after you finish the video, Titanfall 2 is a masterpiece that deserves better. I really hope that EA and Respawn decide to wake the fuck up and realize that millions of people want a third installment. They need to realize that this game's lack of success was their own fault. Is the game perfect? Of course not. But I mean, it's pretty damn close. The game has a pretty high barrier to entry right now, especially since most of the people still on the game are like, cracked out of their minds. What just happened? And it can be very easy for a match to get one-sided, especially if the other team has pretty much all their titans and you have, like, one. No, no, please don't do it. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get wrecked so hard. It's about to be on the hub, dude. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's going on the hub for sure. It can be pretty unfun fighting titans as a pilot, and it can really halt the flow of combat. Oh god, oh no. I am, <laughs> I have no cover out here. Yeah. <laughs> You're just standing there. I can only accept death. But I mean, <laughs> it is always fun Whoa, to do the pilot hunting. Are you yeah. still alive? Yeah, I am. Where, where are you? Don't oh, you worry about me. Worry about yourself. <laughs> where are you back here? No, you no, little, no, no. You little rat. Oh, there you are. No, that's not you. There you are. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I wish there was more focus on pilots versus pilots, with more dedicated maps and modes. Maybe a good ranking system. All of this could be fixed and added into a third installment. It's a shame that it has to be like this, because I feel like the hacking problems are the main reason why this game has not, and will never, have a chance for a comeback. I mean, the base game was unplayable for years. Of course that will kill off any game. If games like No Man's Sky or Rainbow Six Siege can get second wins, then damn it, Titanfall 2 deserves another chance. But the thing is, modern gaming has so many offerings these days for free. Your average gamer is not going to pay to play a game they have to download a mod to get access to, at least multiplayer-wise. Campaign goes hard. Totally worth checking out still. This game was the definition of right place, wrong time. EA, just know, I'm in your motherfucking walls. And you better use all of this Apex Legends Battle Pass money to make a third Titanfall. Capiche? Alright. You have until the end of the year, or else I'm going to be very sad. And also drop a Titan on your house. No.